Well, hello there. It is Tuesday, February 9th. And that was the wrong thing to click. And welcome back to Saga of Sagas. Uh, we didn't play Saga Frontier last Friday for various and sundry reasons. So we're going to pick back up tonight. Last time it was all about Will. So tonight, I mean, last night, last time it was all about Gustav. So tonight is all about Will. Uh, let's go ahead and load our save game. And here we go. Okay. I was playing a game earlier that required me to turn the dual sticks off. So let's go ahead and turn them back on. I think there's a quick toggle for that, but I don't know what it is. Just moving the cursor with a stick is just much, much faster. All right. So these are two Gustav. Oh, no, no. At the mines is Will. So a job prospecting for ore. And that's in the Lordless land. And then I think in Merchman, no, nothing there. I thought we had one more will somewhere. Infiltrate the Alexi gang. I would rather get stronger first. So let's go back. Well, that wasn't quite what I wanted. The Lordless Land. Will accepts a job prospecting for ore in the Svendorf mine. Alright, let's go ahead. Currently under excavation for anima responsive stones. Well, does everyone agree that we should proceed with the digging from here? Yeah, that's right. Everyone but will, that is. I agree that this is probably the most promising location to strike a load, but... But? I'm sensing some kind of unusual anima from this direction. I've got a bad feeling about this. A bad feeling, eh? Well, I'll take that in consideration. If you're not going to take me seriously, I'm going to step down from this job. You're free to do what you like. Um, okay. Now let's prepare the mining plan. Just let us handle it this time around. Maybe you're too sensitive, and you end up picking up on a lot of unnecessary things. Everyone makes mistakes here, though. Um, okay. If you guys say so. Well, I'll be going. Oh, it's so bright down there, I thought it was outside, but no, it's just... More mine. What's up here? Um, wow. Okay, this is kind of cool. When I'm feeling down, I often come here. I understand why. It's, it's gorgeous here. I can climb up there, but there's nothing to do. Okay, not the way. I'm gonna quick save first. Do it over here. Mining operations. Seeing this pile of ore makes me feel like I've done a lot of work. The mined ore usually gets processed into tools by craftsmen. But even as raw ore, it's more useful than some old everyday rock. 
Boop. Uh, boop right back to you, Smokey. How you doing? We're uh, working in the mine tonight, apparently. Just a huge sprawling place with no clear signs of where I should be going. This is where the mining sewage drains. It's also where we go in nature call. By the way, uh, I'd like to finish my call of nature. Mm, it's not my fault you're so fee shy. Eh, not too hot. Just chilling while feeling like crap. I get that. My hand is acting up a little bit, but I wanted to, uh, to play some Saga Frontier, so here we are. Uh, well, I wish I felt better. I wish you felt better. I wish everybody felt better. Let's see. Good day, Sir William. No need to be so formal. Ah, Sir William. How's this location? Do you think there's more here? Hmm. I think it's reached the limit. I guess he's consulting because he's so anima sensitive. Another day of hard digging. This mine is giant. Okay. I, I don't feel ready to leave the mine just yet. Is this just a shortcut to another place? Or? Nope, nope, something new. Meeting the quota is tough. I can make they think alike, apparently. The amount of ore that can be mined here is so-so, but the variety of ore is amazing. Boy, I barely remember this game. Wonder if I even made it this far before getting distracted by something else. I have the game, just don't remember it that, it that well other than it being pretty. Well, I know I never got this far. It's all completely new to me. Uh, these pools are just gorgeous. Hello there, William. How are things for you? Uh, I'm a little lost. How are you? Okay. So, and we've been down here. Because that's just the start of the big loop around to back where we were. I'm going to go check in with these guys again, just in case they have something else to say, or in fact are gone. Because the only place we haven't gone down is down the pit. And that seems a little dangerous. Hey Em! Hello, hello, hello. I don't recall ever watching your streams, but I'm following. Cool. Yeah, I think you showed up one weekend when I was playing a fishing game. <laughs> a really old PS2 fishing game. Uh, I hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, there's a thing down there that I would like to have. But I cannot have it, apparently. Okay, so now I'm completely confused. Oh, yeah. Yep, just one of those random Sunday morning PS2 streams. Nothing really to do here. Well, I guess it's back outside. I mean, they basically told me to get lost anyway. Uh, I can remember how to get there. 
down from here. Either another entrance leading down there? I don't think that there is, because... Uh, at least not that I've seen. Because I went all over the place. There's Call of Nature Boy. And that, that is definitely all the screens that I can go to. Okay, uh, we'll save again and see what happens when we leave. Oh, we just go back to the bar. I wonder if my instincts were wrong. I have faith in your judgment. Thank you, Tyler. Hey, there's been news of monsters bursting out of the Svendorf mines. Looks like you were correct, Will. Yeah, but not now's not the time to gloat. Sir Narcisse, let's go and rescue the diggers. Hmm, monster slaying then? Well, it's time to get some loot. I don't think we will need any rest or anything like that. Good luck. Oh, I don't care. Don't bother. I was working on those mines till just the other day. I'm glad I quit in time. Pretty fired up this time. Will you be coming with me, Cody? Yes, of course. Alright, let's go. It's the perfect time to gloat. Exactly, when you're proven right is, in fact, the perfect time to gloat. I like the art style this has. It has a gorgeous like hand-painted art style the sprites are all really nice it's a it's a very pretty game to the mines and now we have dungeon music all right so let's save the game now we're in a dungeon so let's save it slot two So that's kind of tonight's goal, is just to catch Will up with Gustav as far as the timeline goes. There's still some diggers trapped inside the mine. Please go and help them. Okay, here we go. Smack into some monsters. Bat and two gremlins. Let's focus on a gremlin first. Yeah, because they, they hurt a bit when they hit. At least he didn't get poisoned. Basic attacks. Oh, still no poison. He must be guarded from it somehow. and special stuff.
These guys are turning out to be a little tough. The terrible thing is, I haven't played as Wolf for so long that I can't remember any of his combos. So, uh, let's try a roll beat. Some healing. Woodcutter and lawnmower, that's a combo. Sheesh, I forgot how unbalanced this game seemed. In what way do you mean? need of sacrificing an LP? Nope. We'll drop back to SP commands for everybody. Oof. Uh, that really hurt. He's getting a healing spell next time around. Crossing wave thrust just to get us out of the situation. Oh, there we go. This be some flame and water level, which is nice. Act some flame skill out. WP and tree. All right. Eight chips. Did somebody's weapon break and I didn't see it? No. Alright. Get on here. I went on pants. Thanks, you saved me. There are still others that haven't escaped yet. Please help them out. Enemy HP and attack power while your gains after battles just seem minuscule in comparison. It's true. It's true. But the enemies haven't changed all that much. And I really think it's balanced against you risking some of your life points in the uh, recover HP bit before every round of combat. Life points seem much higher in this than in other Saga games. Alright, so we saved two guys. This is obviously a, an exercise in visiting all of those screens again. So. Alright, we'll fight these guys. I'm doing that thing I do at night when I'm not talking as loud and leaning towards the microphone. I don't think I really need to do that. Gremlins. Let's focus them down. No, not water. How about bushfire? I can catch two of them that way. The woodcutter. Yeah. And a lawnmower against the fungman. And let's see how that does. Very good. Alright. 
use a little bit of plaza points this time. Aimed shot. Ogre crossing. Wave thrust. Basic elemental attacks. And have it. I mean, and I want to make sure that you all know. Everything I know about this battle system, I don't actually know. It's just what I've figured out in the time I've been playing so far. Not some kind of pro strat here. Just... Just what I've been doing. Uh, alternating between WP and SP seems to be a pretty good thing. Uh, using all your high level stuff to clear most of them out, and then the low level stuff on the later ones seems to be a good idea. So, uh, uh, oh, somebody was hiding. That's sneaky. Hit multiples of anything, wave thrust. Alright, a combo of axle turn and heartbeat. Add in an aim shot. We way axle turn triple on slot. We way overkilled that guy, but okay. Um, we'll do these precise commands once more on this other gremlin. It all depends on the hidden. Uh, Initiative tracker heartbeat duo attack. Poison spike. Okay. There we go. The other thing to think, Smokey, is that this whole party started out with basically no WP, uh, and now we are all up in the 50s. 40s and 50s, Tyler has 77. So a tiny gain after every battle really, really adds up. These are even easier. They got the wear bats first. I 
for Sonic a much less scary attack than it is in the first Saga Frontier. Alright, Narcisse and uh, Korra have made our choice for us. We're going after the Gremlin now. Big guns. It's way too much for just that bat. Every once in a while I think about making a game where you can completely change your action. Uh, if it doesn't work out. Like if uh, if your target disappears or something else goes on and that you don't have to target a specific person with the heal spell until it comes through and all of that. But I was thinking of jumping off before I got eaten. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't have to jump into that sewage. Well, yeah, that sounds pretty bad actually. Okay, okay, we'll fight this, uh... Tentacle is probably the same mobs we've been facing all this time. Oh no! Snails. I don't remember these guys at all. Housekeepers. I mean, I remember the look of them. Snails with sideways pink shells. Pretty hard to forget. Don't remember what I learned about them. Just loops back. Oh, I see. Uh, what? A human? I thought the last things I'd ever see would be mineral. Let's take out the housekeeper first, because it does have some annoying attacks. Hmm. 
Now we'll bust out some big stuff. Where are the other guys? Uh, heartbeat. Aim shot. Uh, ogre crossing. The wave thrust. Greatest ever combo attack, but not bad. Uh oh. Now she says bow is broken. Alright. See what we got to replace that with. Maybe on this next screen over. Alright. Group item. Narcisse. Hunter bow. Oh, just a hunter bow again. Okay, that's fine. Go down here. See what's happening down here. Nothing. Alright. Back upstairs it is. Over here to the big rock. Well, that was a dramatic noise. And guys, though. Oh, that was pretty cool. Heartbeat triple onslaught. You know, every time I step away from the computer to do something, set up a space heater, use the bathroom, I come back and see the same damn battle. It's not my fault these are the only mobs in the dungeon. I totally agree with you. You may have missed the pink snails. There were pink snails, so. Back to SP for a little while. I wonder if I should take my space heater out. It is cold here. Unusually cold for Ohio. I know it's probably worse there, so... Oh, uh, pig snails. Yay! Well, it's a little variety at the very least. I was right, there's somebody up there. Huh? I'm saved! You're right, you are. Okay. So we'll leave this way. No way to really avoid that one. 
Uh, so is it going to be bats and gremlins? Or gremlins and bats? It is one gremlin. Okay. We can deal with this. Again. Heartbeat. Aim shot. Heal crush. Good spear. Heartbeat duo attack. And I'm fine with just doing those things again. Hey Jar, evening everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, yeah, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Just glad to be playing a little saga. Also, I was messing around on the Switch earlier and downloaded, like, um, the NES and Super NES apps. They have obtuse user interfaces, man, and there's no reason they couldn't both be the same app. So annoying. Uh, alright. Speed up the fun, fun guy first. Cutter and Lawnmower. How are you this fine night? I haven't touched my Switch in a while. Uh, neither have I, which is really kind of dumb because I have Moon Remix sitting right there. And I haven't started it yet. Uh, on the Switch, I started up Crystallis. And it has these weird flashing pixels at the bottom of the screen and around the dialog boxes, and it was driving me a bit crazy. So I came upstairs and started it on my computer, and it has the same thing. I guess it's like an actual feature. Maybe it was hidden by NTSC, but uh, and it was pretty annoying. I wish they would make the apps better, but Nintendo. I also think the SNES app came out like a year later. Yeah, and they're adding to it at a snail's pace. And like the the games they added today, the only one I've heard of is Fire and Ice. Heartbeat. Aim shots. Axel turn. Good spear. Let's try that. What system did Crystallis come out on? Uh, the NES? Aim shot duo attack? Yes. Wait, is that a serious question? Did I say it wrong? So I ended up just playing a little Breath of Fire. Uh, I started in that series at 5, so... Because one of those old systems had artifacting at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. But this also, no matter where a dialog box appears on the screen, there's some artifacting around it. I don't know if it's like a feature of the game. Uh, it's meant to be a sparkly artifact on an NTSC screen, or what? So. Alright, there's just one more room, if I remember right. Oh god. It is apparently the source of all evil. Alright. 
combo of attacks was pretty good at taking out gremlins. Let's abuse it a bit. Yeah, we do talk about it a lot on Odyssey's screen. Uh, stream. Probably CRT's covered it up. I love clear, clean pixels, but it does show the words. Yeah, sometimes. Alright. Anybody really all that hurt? No. Oh, I'm brought back down to good old packs. I've literally never heard of Crystallis, or if I had, I don't remember. Yep, it's one of those early, uh, early NES RPGs that was actually brought over. So, it's like an official English translation and everything. Yeah, I definitely put it on there. If somebody else did. I can't remember if I did Crystallis or Fexamadu. that combat again, just in case you missed it. Oh, okay. They're close together. Oh, I can't use bushfire because the other the other bow broke. Darn it. Well flame is probably better anyway. Are any of these multi attacks? No. Let's just stick with axle turn then. Wide swing will get both of them though. Oh, oh wow, I see a hot take in chat. Hold on. Just want to make sure nobody's going to die. Uh, the NES is one of my least fond console memories wise, because I mainly just had LGN games. Oh, not so hot, really. That is, in fact, entirely fair. Let's just do all that again. I think there were definitely a lot of good games on it. Uh, I didn't have one when they were out, so the number of NES games that I've played is small, and I've never, like, never completed one, so... Okay. Flame level's gone up. Can I get a quick save in before... Oh no, Cordelia's Wood Spear! No, 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 Hit the button, hit the button! There we go. Equip item. Cordelia... Wood Spear. Well, that's, that's all we got, so you get a wood spear again. Huh. Now the Genesis and PlayStation on the other hand... Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, I'm completely unsurprised at how much I have enjoyed looking through my huge pile of PlayStation games that I never dig out. to spell points for you. You have plenty. Wide Swing can get all three of them. This one still, I think, is the gaming apex. I mean, there's a lot of great games on every system. Every modern system that I've ever owned. I've never been unhappy that I bought one. But the PS1 had a specific aesthetic that was brought about by the kind of limited hardware, the, the pixels, the way that textures shimmered on old games, and the way that developers tried to work 
completely within those limitations that makes it really special. And there are a lot of good games on the system. Genesis Mega Drive as well, but I actually only got one to go along with the Sega CD I bought cheap. Lots of games on that I enjoyed. I have a Sega CD and no Sega CD games. I don't know why I bought it, I don't remember. I should try and get some uh, just to do, just to play them, but uh, yeah. Alright, um, yeah, we can go and spell point wise there. No, we still want wide swing because we can still get both of them. Not only <laughs> took one out, but stunned the other one. That's nice. You can burn this and play them if you don't mind that. I don't. Um, you were around earlier in the screen. I got to show off a little bit of the RetroArch user interface here. Because uh, the dual sticks are not. Um, I own an actual copy of this. Completely so. within rights to emulate it. Alright, alright. Uh, oh, oh boy. Um, okay. So... Let's fight these guys. How am I gonna get through that opening? <laughs> okay. Apparently we've been playing Gauntlet all this time. That's the enemy generator. We have to push them back in there somehow. Oh no, is this a puzzle fight? Let's see. Um, well, we'll just go all out with the things we know have been working. Uh, axle turn. Wait, wait. I think we've all got confused about which one we're attacking first. Wide swing. Alright. Genesis and Sega CD also got a bunch of post-life games, but the only one I really know about is Pierre Solar, which I have heard varying things about over the years. It was also before HD, which while I love HD, killed niche and experimental games from big companies for almost 20 years now, and I'm still upset about it. I'm right there with you. Um, Like, uh, this guy got to make two beautiful games on the PlayStation. Uh, but post-PlayStation had to really push to get any more Saga out, and it's all been kind of limited budget kind of stuff. Um, we don't see anything like one-offs like Ray Fencer Musashi or anything like that. And when we do from Square, it's just utter bizarreness like Balan Wonderland, which I still have not figured out at all. I never had a Sega CD, but I have a 32X and many 32X games. I also have a 32X. This this makes me think that a friend gave them to me now that I think about them. Huh. I got a copy of Pierre Solar. It's beautiful and has great music, but the mechanics aren't solid. It does do an insanely clever thing. Cartridge game, Red Book CD audio. Oh, oh, you mean in the Sega CD? That's pretty cool, actually. This may not be the best of ideas, but let's just repeat this combo until all four of them are gone and see what happens. Isn't it like a 200 megabyte cartridge? Oh, let me check. <laughs> Funny, taken out by a 30 point attack. But I need. Nope, nope, we're good. 
If I recall right, it's like the size of a Neo Geo game. Wow, a spark. We haven't had one of those in ages. And to a pretty good attack. That I totally missed the name of. Okay. We're supposed to do something clever. But I have no idea what. I mean, we didn't really need the triple onslaught there. It says 64 meg cart on the case. Well, and then I also heard that Pierre Solar's PC port is a complete mess. Anybody have any ideas? Or is this just a huge gauntlet of these guys? Out of man. Close in. Close in. Close in. That's what I get for not looking and seeing if, uh... That's not useful. It just added a random command on a totally new page of the combat interface where I would have no idea that it was there. All right, so let's go back and we'll do a heartbeat on this one and flame on it. And close in and a wide swing. Can you turn, please die? flame and you still close in and avoid no 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 we're burning up the walls of points way too fast Dude, you gotta be almost dead. Oh wait, does anybody need some HP? Uh, not this time around. Alright. Step it up to Heartbeat Flame. Tyler can close in because he's going last. And the thrust. All right, he's dead. Another close in. And 
turned the wave to us. I just I want to get this guy out of the way before the close in so we can see if we can do it. The generator has been stopped. Well, at least I figured it out before it went too long. Let's see. I'm not sure if the Genesis has a lockout on carts with more than 16 meg, but I'm going to guess no, since a lot of the carts being produced now work fine with their expanded memory size. I wonder if you killed enough enemies one of your party members would shout at you to close in or something. That seems like a very PS1 thing to do. Will did say something at the very beginning about we have to push them back in somehow, but still, that doesn't seem an adequate hint. I don't think it would. It would just mean the carts weren't bigger than that back then due to cost. Also, no games were big enough to justify it. Exactly. Memory was at a premium back then, exactly. Okay. So now we have a one-on-one -on -one fight. And do I need to recover HP? I do. All right, Tyler, time to bleed a little. Battle commands. Um... Not the bow. Why only the bow? Did his axe break when he did this? Shoot. Focus. Shoot. Quick shot? I don't know. Not even bringing into account the cost of any special chips that might be needed. I also miss the days of special chips, especially sound chips. Just find them rad for some reason. Not because they generally are. Let's push our system past what it's supposed to do is a really cool idea. But honestly, I'm not too educated on Genesis using special chips. Only familiar with the NES and SNES. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try those out. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to have a hard, I'm gonna have a hard time here. Yep, seven. Change weapon. Wow, it's it's just determined not to let him use the axe that he's been using all this time. Battle command. Uh, flame, 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 flame. Let's try that. Oh good, he stunned us. 270 is still good. A hypercharged quick shot. Let's see how that goes. Three points of damage. Alright, we need this yet? No. Oh. Alright. Big old focused flame. Ah, uh, the duel battle. I remember now. I think this battle mechanic actually turned me off completely. The problem is I don't have a listing of his combos. 92 points of damage. Okay, we definitely need HP after that. Cover HP.
especially his, his bow. Uh, let's faint. And ready. And double shoot. Let's see how that does. This seems kind of tedious. I gotta agree. Suikoden did it better. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things that Suikoden does better than a lot of things. This bone just does no damage. It's gonna have to be all fire all the time. Okay, don't need it just yet. Battle command. What is it? Focus. Flame. Focus. Flame. Crippling gaze. Great. I hope not Suikoden does well. Turns out well, I mean. Yeah, it would be really a cool thing to see. I've been so... intrigued by the Fire Emblem original director's like indie strategy RPG on Steam, but somehow I just haven't bought it into it yet. Okay, 337, we're still good. Let's just quadruple flame. And he can't get a combo off to save his life. Don't buy it, because Danga gets money and fuck them. Great. Uh, so t 29 points per 30, 60, 90, 120, and it's exactly the same as focusing two other ones. Wow. Okay. Don't need HP just yet. Let's focus up one big flame because I can't remember how many points damage that did. Who knows if that dude is even getting the money for his game? Dang it, didn't, didn't pay those other devs. How are they still doing business? I mean, I guess they did. 103. Huh, finally, there we go. I mean, they did eventually give Devil Daggers back to the dev. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to make a hard save at this point. Because I'm superstitious. Also, their founder, CEO, got me to... Exactly. See what happens when we walk out of here. We still, have, we, we still have dudes to deal with on the way out. Well, I am not interested in fighting any of you. Not a single solitary one of you. Stay away. I just want to run past and get the hell out. Supposedly, Fight Night also got away from Dang, and well, there's that. Okay, now we get some different people. Battle Command. I am really bad at seeing the... Uh, the notification that people's weapons have broke. I guess we'll stone... Housekeeper... Flame arrow and flame arrow it and wave thrust it. Wait, this game has weapon breaking? What the fuck? Exactly. You can repair them though, and you get little chips. 
that you need to enhance other weapons. And uh, replacement weapons are cheap, so you can carry around some replacements. But yeah. Alright, so we'll stone again. And flame arrow again. Double flame arrow. And this time lawnmower because mandrakes are susceptible to lawnmower. Weapon breaking is a terrible mechanic. Yes. It has a big history in Saga games because they've almost always had some sort of counter on the number of times you can use a weapon or skill. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not my favorite. Okay, so this is going to be an annoying one. The P room. Here we go. And... What do, mm, why do game devs love terrible game mechanics? I've never been a real fan of that mechanic either. It doesn't make sense, and it can be tedious. <laughs> Look, it's these guys again. Back for revenge. Okay. All we can do is stone. Let's do an aim shot. A flame arrow. And wave thrust. We can get through this. I'm just glad I did a hard save. People who implement weapon breaking as a universal mechanic just underestimate how attached people get to specific things in RPGs. Weapon breaking, trailing missions, escort missions, mandatory stealth, stamina bars. What else am I missing? I know there's plenty more. Sewer level? I can tolerate stamina bars if they're generous, like the one in Deadly Premonition, or the climbing bar in Zelda Breath of the Wild, or, um, or things like that. I like them in some instances, but I, I, don't, I think it rarely actually makes the game better. Absolutely all that fucking despise is flashlights that need new batteries every five to ten minutes. Yes, because that is not how that works. Oh, hunger mechanics, Char. Hunger mechanics. <laughs> those can go to hell. Hit scan enemies? Those too. Alright, anybody about to drop? No. Then we can just take this guy out. Will you just defend? Flame arrow. Flame arrow. Wood spear. Here we go. Regenerating health. Specifically, you gotta take cover to get it. Cover based pop up shooting. It's one of my least favorite things. It's kind of weird considering that I've announced my intention to play through the Mass Effect Trilogy remasters. Um, I guess that shows how much I actually enjoyed the rest of the stuff in that game. Actually, I'm also cool with the hunger mechanics in Deadly Premonition. Again, it doesn't hinder you much, plus you can always carry around a fuckton of lollipops. There are uh, certain... certain games where it, any of those mechanics can really match well in them. Like, you'd have to say that Dark Souls isn't Dark Souls without a stamina bar, but it doesn't mean that stamina bars need to be in anything. Just 
give me health packs. Mass Effect 2 is the bomb. Vanguard. Teleport into the enemy and shotgun to the face. I'm finally going to play Vanguard. <laughs> Everybody's been saying that for years and I've just never done it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, give me some magic this time around. was wrong. I actually disagree with that. Taking cover to heal was implemented to remove any large breaks in combat where the player might do something like double back a distance to pick up a health item. It was about flow. Now I don't play enough shooters to really have my opinion count on this, I don't think. Because it's just not my thing. I've been bad at shooters since Wolfenstein 3D, and I probably will continue to be bad at shooters until the end of time. Uh, like Project Warlock, it was just way too much for me. But it's the fact that other games and other genres have picked up the mechanic that makes it really kind of a thing that I scoff at. Here, I can fix the problem. Put health packs after a fight. Done. Well, but you might run out in the middle. You know what fixes that? Good checkpointing. So gonna disagree. That's fine. We can all disagree here. getting low on all kinds of numbers. Numbers are getting low. Can I get out of here, please? If I get outside and the guy says, there's still one guy down there, I'm going to be like, well, that guy's dead. At least we got some good stuff out of that fight. All right. All right, I think this is the last big run. Okay, here we go. All right. In the end, Will was right after all. You're goddamn right. I was. Huh. What a total bomb. Don't get too discouraged. There will be good times, too. Let's see. I do like the middle ground approach best. Health that's broken up equally with each section of a bar being able to regenerate until it's depleted. That's kind of a cool mechanic, yeah. You know what also fixes that? Making your player's movement speed really fast and make all weapon fire projectile based, then people can dodge. Yeah. Except uh, clumsy people with the reflexes of a squirrel. Uh, that would be me, by the way. I played Sentinel in Mass Effect. I liked the utility of the class, so I wasn't running gun. Yeah, I'm afraid that I did the most boring thing my first time through Mass Effect. And it's all the fault of... Um, save importing I played the generic uh, male shepherd right the iconic one from the box and I just did a, a, a straight shooting build and then since that's what I imported to every future game that's what I did and I chose strictly paragon options unless they were punching reporters in the face uh I'm going to play much more interesting next time. Hydro. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for peeking in. Hope you're having a good night. I just don't have patience anymore for sitting around. I just feel like it wastes my time. Hyper aggressive at any and all games. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, I've got that too, but in like a different kind of way. Like, uh, I will fully admit that my playthrough of Persona could have gone a lot differently, but I was just punching everything in the face. Uh, it worked out, but... Good, thanks. How's it going? It's it's going pretty well. Having a nice chill stream, beating up the same three monsters over and over again. Uh, it's nice to unwind like this, actually. Sedates HZ. Yeah. I don't think he said he was hyper-aggressive in life. Uh, of course I want to continue the game. All right. We have a choice of Beyond Grand Valley. Heading south of Iceland, he approaches the Stone Bridge of Grand Valley and the Infiltrate mission. Uh, we just saved. Let's do Beyond Grand Valley. For some reason, I just don't really don't want to do the Infiltrate mission tonight. I'm very chill in life. I direct it all into games. That's what I aspire to. But as my... Uh, as my attention span fractures work-wise, I've been getting a little touchier there than I used to. Uh, which has actually made some people ask me, hey man, is everything okay? And I'm just like, well, you know how everything is. <laughs> so, all right, beyond Grand Valley. Grand Valley, a giant valley that splits the eastern continent into north and south. During the era of the ancient empire, a stone bridge spanned the valley. The bridge could not withstand the flow of time and has now mostly collapsed, yet it still stands as the sole road connecting the north and south. To get across to the south, Will now attempts to cross the bridge. Ten days earlier... Okay... Right? We could have just started in the bar with this, so... I healthily direct all of my anger into hate for my fellow man. I think I might dispute the, the use of healthily there, but I certainly understand that as well. I recognize that bridge. The very top is from the Great Wall of China. Alright, so I think I'm about ready to take on a major expedition. How about it, Tyler? Yeah, should be good enough to handle it. Sir Narcisse? Then I suggest you head south. South? Down to Viceland, the land that's supposedly the birthplace of the spell arts. You might be able to strike it big there. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. How about you, Tyler? We already asked Tyler. Yeah, I'll go as well. Okay then, let's get ready right away. I'm not coming with you this time. Why? You're the one who suggested. I only recommended it. Viceland is a land of intense cold. Too tough for someone my age. And it's about time I retire. You still have plenty of vigor, Sir Narcisse. I suggest you find someone else. Okay. You'll be a little lonely without him. A long way from hating him at first. People have their own lives. Absolutely true. The stone bridge is under the control of this man who calls himself the Baron of the Valley. He's just a darn bandit who calls himself that. This bandit torments anyone who wants to cross with a ridiculously high toll, but no one can touch him. The Baron has bribed the Duke of Lobholes by paying him a large sum in taxes, and is now under his protection. <laughs> I'm in a happy mood today. That stone bridge shouldn't be the only way to get across the Grand Valley. I hear that there was trading between the north and south even before that bridge was built. Alright, so we seriously don't have Narcisse with us. Let's talk to him. I suggest you find someone else. You said. Alright. So first order of business is to come over here and talk to this lady. You want me to get items from people who've been in your party? Can't tell you how I do it. 
So, uh, wait, I can get stuff from Nibblestern? Really? Uh, so I can just yank this sacred sphere. Well, that's turning them on and off. Narcisse, sorry to do this, but you're not going to come with Nina. I think I'll leave Nina and Gustav and Kelvin alone. The beauty of Will Knight. Nemelstern could get her stuff back later. And the other pieces as you trouble down look familiar. <laughs> White land. That bridge looked broken, so how would people cross it in the first place? Well, there's a wooden suspension bridge to the side. Also, are we playing the Tyrant in the Making still? Yeah, but I've decided to um, focus each night of Saga Frontier 2 on a different protagonist, since they each have their own timelines going forward at about the same rate. Uh, so last we left him, he had been made king. And there was some family intrigue and drama. And we have tales of his further expansion and or um, like a, a tall tale that he told people. So we'll probably get back to that on Friday. All right. So now that we've got all that, let's go ahead and equip some stuff. Will needs a staff. The only one I have is a sapling staff. Okay. Other needs an axe. I have a flint axe. That will work. Do a wood spear and rock axe. Sapling staff and buckler. Okay. So. Uh, how much better is the sacred spear? In this wood spear, is there any way to know? My game, will you tell me? Weapon ability 6, chi tool 15. So the sacred spear is much better. Alright. Go to the item shop. Welcome. Um, I can fix tools for you. Yeah, so. So knife, wood spear, hunter bow. Um, I think we definitely want to fix this blue water. But we don't necessarily need to fix the rest of this stuff. Alright. Only amulets and things. Talk to him from the store side. Way up. All right. We'll just buy a replacement for everybody and call it good. Okay. Um, out of the way. Oh, yes, people are always so nice to me in this town. I wonder if they're dry yet. All right, we're just going to go to the Grand Valley. Yes, I'm double saving. This game allows you to double save, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Everybody's all equipped. Oh, what's down here? That's the bridge.
Somebody was saying something about an alternate route, though. Again, quite intensely gorgeous. Wait! Sir Narcisse! I knew you'd be reckless. Do you know what kind of place this is? The fog and the monsters trap the unwary in this valley. It's a place where people will pay even the outrageous toll so they can cross the bridge just to avoid the valley. But it is connected to the other side, right? You don't know when to quit, do you? Fine. This is the last time I'm going with you. Narcisse! What are you doing to me? Okay. Quip items. Uh, I did not buy an extra bow because you weren't supposed to be coming along. Hunter bow. Stone shield. A hat, I guess. Caster armor. Her boots. I think you had the gem particle on before. <coughs> hmm. Let me take a little drink here. Sheesh, either you wants to join a long hang on. I know, make up your mind, man. You know what would be interesting to do in this game? Like have one character heading to a location, and they get there, and Gustav is conquering it or burning it down, and then they like fight or maybe team up or something. I'm pretty sure that's coming, um, because otherwise I don't know why these two stories would be happening at the same time. Pretty soon they're gonna have to intersect in a meaningful way. It would be interesting, so Square would never do it. I think this game is doing interesting stuff. I mean, Gustav is pretty clearly like the bad guy, or would be if this were manga. Um, he's not doing what he's doing for any kind of noble reason at all. All right. So I guess we're doing this. Okay, so we're trying to go east to west. Don't ask me why I flinched away from that encounter. I'm sure we're going to get into it pretty soon, but... It's a nice staff. Uh, yeah, keep that, please. Um, Sapling staff is weapon ability 3. My staff is 16. So we will definitely equip that. Alright. Alright, plants. Let's have a fight. See, that's the other thing that this game does that is amazing and I really like it. It has so many combat songs. So many uh, sets of combat music. They're all variations on the same tune, but they're very, very different. I've never heard this one before. Uh, I do not want to have a solo fight, so let's fight as a team. Okay. So. Uh, let's just pop a Bone Crush for absolutely no reason. A Grass Dancer and a Demon Seed. Okay. So flame arrow into the grass sensor, and we will do lawnmower at the demon seed, and another flame arrow at the demon seed. We'll see how that works out. Why the heck would you ever choose solo fight until forced to? Uh, I do not know. Because these fights can be a little difficult uh, if you allow extra enemies into them. That's about the only thing I can do. Alright, 
How badly is Narcisse hurt? Not that badly. We can just go again. Oh, and now Will has water, so... That is not a good use of one charge of my ice staff. Let's do a heartbeat. And some... Plain old elemental attacks, flame arrows and things. Wow. Uh huh. That must have been a spark, because th there's no way that a heartbeat was that effective. I looked over at chat for half a second. Alright. Um. Head splitter with a staff. Now, see. Under here, in the help menu here, it tells you what combo you need to use to use the different skills in the solo mode. But that doesn't mean that I remember any of them. I'm going to have to go through at some point and make a cheat sheet for it. Just so that I remember when it forces me to use somebody in solo combat, what their effective abilities are. Uh, because also in solo combat, it doesn't really count your WP that much. So, let's see. You know what would be really rad in this type of game? The final encounter of the game is between two of the characters and their parties that you've been playing the entire game. And you control both parties, and who you let win affects the story and ending. Transformers Fall of Cybertron does that? That's kind of amazing. What I'm gonna do is use the full screen projector here so that I can have chat on the same monitor as the game. Alright. We just beat, shoot, wood spear and flame arrow. See, if only Persona for the PSP had had some uh, alternate battle tracks. Berry dance. Well, I don't even know what that status effect is. Well, we'll just live with it for now. We'll beat... No, not punch. Oh, Flit Axe has Flame Axe. Let's try that out. Wood Spear and a Flame Arrow. There we go. Is that the Platinum Games one? Uh, yeah, though not as detailed as what HC describes. Through the whole game you play each side, and at the end you choose to play uh, Auburn Banks. No, I think that one is Transformers Devastation. Hmm. Despite being a Transformers kid growing up, I've never played any of the Transformers games. I want to say Full Moon did the Transformers uh, WFC FSC games. Fog's getting thicker. We better get through sooner, there will be trouble. Well, I I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. I like my Transformers. I know you do. Uh, no, we're still going to fight as a team. Wow, okay. So, a roll beat. Flame Axe seems pretty good. Lawn Mower. And Flame Arrow. See how this combo does. Ouch. That was a lot of damage. Um, I don't have any problem with that.
lawnmower and pretty good all on its own. I'm gonna miss this ice staff when it breaks. Dark Dungeon has never been my favorite. And especially in this game where it elevates it from game with uh, encounters you can see on the map to game with random encounters. Or not elevates, but delevates. I know that's not a word. Don't at me. More Roby should do just fine. Even the ending fanfare is different. How awesome is that? Right. I'm gonna do a hard dungeon save. Down here. Random encounters, another bad mechanic. I do not mind random encounters. I really don't. Um, but I would prefer that a game without them doesn't turn them on kind of randomly. I am just caroming to the east. It is very rarely worthwhile to grind in a saga game, so I'm just not doing it. Uh, you know what? You know what? Cordelia, why don't you do this? Let's see. So, charge, thrust, thrust, thrust. Random encounters lets me know that they'll be grinding, and grinding lets me know that they couldn't balance the game properly, so they want me to waste my time instead. There's a certain point at which grinding is, uh, is cool as kind of a maintenance mechanic for me. Like, if I just want a game and not really think about it, there's nothing quite like walking in a circle and fighting all the encounters you come across. Let's have Cordelia do it again. Charge, thrust, thrust, thrust. And that there, Smokey, is why you might want to do a solo battle every once and again, because the battles that take a couple of minutes to finish, uh, <coughs> when there are four of them, take no time at all with just one. Probably don't even need the charge. But I realize that I'm completely strange in how much I like focused boringness in games from time to time. I mean, dear god, I played logistical, and there's nothing that's more boring than that game. Yet, it's so compelling. 
Uh, hi, Mr. Skeleton. How did we get to you? It's a coral ring. We'll keep that. I can see that, Ray, turning your brain on. Yeah. Like, for some reason, I really liked it in... I'm just thinking about this because I was talking about it earlier. In um, Breath of Fire 3, there's just a very comforting thing to going out to some field and walking in a circle until you had enough money to get what you wanted to get. The downside to doing it this way is that nobody's getting any sparks or anything, so... I don't even know if you can get... attribute ups this way. Oh no, I guess you can. I just haven't been paying attention. Alright. Still east. Now you do have to feel a little bit for the people who painted all these wonderful forest scenes and then got them covered up with obscuring mist. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Double test us, which is fine. I'm trying to think what would be a parallel for me. I guess letting the CPU run every character in Crusader Kings 2 for hours, coming back and then trying some random character. Have you ever seen that game called Gloomulator on Steam? It's literally a space 4x that you do not play at all, you just watch it happen. Uh, and it's awesome. It's really super awesome. That thing is so relaxing. I didn't think I'd ever run into anybody else who had gotten Gloomulator. Seems to be a very, very niche thing. What's the name of it again? Uh, I think that's it. It's something very much like that, if not. Uh, I'm running so many windows at the moment, you know. I actually bought multiple of the special tiers that were available on itch for it. Oh, that's cool. Are we looping around or not, game? Is there any way for me to tell if we are looping around? Forex I don't have to play? Okay, I'm interested. Yeah, you just watch and see the rise and fall of empires. Uh, uh, races either sublimating past our sphere or falling into, into vast disrepair, being taken over by everybody else. Um, there are actually some basic mechanics where you can play some parts of it, um, more or less. Two for empires, Skivex and Neo Skivex. One for family, Skivex, and one for religion, Skivex. Skivex, so I got you Skivex for your Skivex. Exactly. It's a leather suit? Guess I'll keep it. Okay. So, the treasure tells me that we haven't seen that before. Mm. I'm tired of doing it as 
a solo Cordelia, so... Lawn mower will take one out all on its own. Oh, a defense maneuver? We haven't seen one of those for hours. Smarter. Let's roll beat this one. You guys can gang up on the other one. It's 5x. Or oh, it's 5 bucks on each Steam and Android. It's it's well worth that just to watch. But the other thing that kind of makes me think of is there were these painfully indie strategy games. That got released on Steam about a year, a year and a half ago, where somebody had made grand strategy 4X games using RPG Maker. And it shouldn't work, and it almost doesn't work, but the one time I played one of them, I sat there and poked at it for like six hours straight. It is bizarrely compelling. Sorry. Charge this. Oh? <laughs> Doubt, but if you say so. Yeah, now I fully understand that this is probably not to everybody's taste. Damned if I can remember the name of them yet, though. Um, if I get a chance to pop up a menu screen or something, I'll go and look, take a quick look in my Steam library and see if I can find out what they're called. There's like a science fiction one set in outer, outer space. Outer face. 4X and RPG Maker, really? Yes, really. All right. Let's see. Team. Strategy. Wow, I have way too many things open on Steam. Okay, so the main series, because apparently it's planned to be a series, or it was, is called Gods of Havoc, and there are two games, Fall to Earth and Into the Void. The one that I lost a whole bunch of time to was Into the Void. It's like an indirect 4X, kind of a god game, but kind of not. It's just so hard to, hard to explain, as you might imagine for a 4X made an RPG maker. Anyway, last I looked, they were dirt cheap. Uh, actually, I guess I could go to their store page. Yeah, they're like eight bucks a piece. All right, uh, I'm gonna save because <laughs> this place is making me nervous. Can we come out, please? Can we come out into the daylight? I don't like this mist anymore. Could you link in Discord when you get a chance? I'm on my phone. I absolutely could. Uh, I'll do it after the stream. I'll, I'll drop a link to both of them in, in game links. Or, or, or maybe I'll drop them on my own Discord. Who knows? Uh, all right. We have, in fact, saved. See, I know we've been here before. I know we have. I know we have.
Okay, okay, that was a long loading screen for what reason exactly? And here we are again. Wonder if Gloomulator should be linked to as well. Yeah, I may as well. Um, let's see. Let's just Cordelia get us out of this. Charge and triple thrust would be enough. Is this a looping dungeon? It is. We've been through the same stuff all this time. Uh, I see from the clock that it's almost time for Oddish to start his stream, so I'm thinking I will save in a little bit and raid him and come back to this next time with a pad of paper. Do some old-fashioned grunt work as far as deciding where we're going. Uh, can we, oh. Now see, there's a skeleton, and... If we haven't robbed that skeleton yet, then this must be a new screen, right? Uh, it's probably messing with me that way, too. I'm really angry that the Sacred Spear is, is just getting all used up on this. He had apparently swallowed a wood sword at some time. Yeah, I'll keep the arc stone. That sounds nice. I feel like Hydra, that time he decided that just going left was the right answer. I just went left, because that's kind of what the game told me to do, and now I don't know where I am. Another bad mechanic. Games are full of them. Sometimes they overcome them. Maybe me just getting old makes me think a lot of these mechanics I complain about are bad. Yep, or maybe they're just things that we're tired of after all this time. Like, uh, in 20 years, people will be like, you know what's really terrible? Social link mechanics. So let's go the other way for a while. I doubt this is going to help. The other thing I could do is take a sneaky look at a fact. Because I never said I wasn't going to. They should make social links much more in depth. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they refine the Caligula effect social link mechanics in the second game. Because it was almost there in the first one. There were so many things. The way that the whole school was broken up into classes and each classes had its little cliques and little stories going on. The clubs had the same thing. And then it was just completely flubbed by the way you interacted with those stories. There was no good reward for, uh, for doing anything. left where we can see the bridge in the background left lower left down <laughs> okay okay we'll try this out is there a reason why the game is named after Caligula do you play Caligula uh, no but I think it's an actual thing So I, I can't remember exactly what it is.
So according to the main developer of the game, right, the Caligula effect means the guilt and excitement that comes with doing something that you shouldn't do. I wanted people to experience that while playing this game, a sense of immorality. And I could kind of see where he's coming from there. Kind of? I don't know if, uh, if it really comes through all that well. All right, back to the game. Let's see where we are. Oh, we're here. Charge, dust, dust, dust. And we're gonna have to change your weapon pretty soon because I'd rather get it fixed than break it. Caligula Simulator. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, the thing that would provoke the biggest aspect of that for me in that game is uh, not present in the original version, only in the overdose version. Enemy out of thin air, I'm okay with that. I'm clearly okay with that, right? But Tyler, you take care of this one. Not charge, backsplashes. There you go. Don't die now. Has he got weird animal legs? And I've only now seen this? Is, is that what that is? Did I only see that because it was in the big version? Okay. Um, I don't want to meet you. So... This is the bridge. So from here... Uh, go left. Left and lower left. So it says go left area where you can see the bridge. So the left and the lower left. Alright. Let's give it a try. Left and lower left. Okay, okay, so far so good. Continue on down and then lower left. Okay, so there's some bits of chat that I'm just not going to read out loud. <laughs> I guess I don't have to read everything. Ouch! That really hurt. Guess Tyler and his axe need more help than that. Okay, it said go down, but there is no down, so lower left? History is interesting. It is. Okay. Charge, backslash, charge, backslash, and if you'll excuse me for just a minute. There was a rap rap rapping at my chamber door. All right. Let's see here. Oh, 
<laughs> Who knew? Setting up combos is good. Alright, so let's see where this puts us. Continue on down, lower left. Head up, upper right, and then up. Okay. Okay. Quick save. And up. Fair enough. Fair enough. I know I said I was going to stop, but now I'm really, really <laughs> mad about this dungeon. Uh, let's see. Charge. Backslash. Charge. Backslash, because it's not really that the, the screens are looping around. It's, it's that they're reusing some screens and not connecting them in any kind of rational way. And that's annoying. A couple of hyper hammers. I'm going for upper right here. And then up. Right? Continue heading up. When you give absolute power to nutcases, interesting things end up happening. Yeah. For certain values of interesting, depending on whether they happen to you or to other people. I can't go up from here. So you're wrong. I would like to say that I think we've completely gotten that out of our system, but I do not think that we've completely gotten that out of our system. Is this it? Am I out? No, I'm just back here. Okay. Okay. We'll kill this eye, dude. Save the game and Raid Oddish, because I, I'm done with this. Interesting if it happens to other people, or if it happens to the people who... Or if it happens to you, the people who read about it happening to you will find it interesting. Well, that's a small consolation, I suppose. Saga for two... No. Saga forever. I still can't believe that I've never seen those legs before. What is going on? Forty seven. Okay, man. Why are you not getting any combos off? Someone made a good point. The best you can hope to leave behind is a Wikipedia page. You might as well make it an interesting one. Tyler kind of looks like a rooster. But those are not rooster legs, are they? I hope we find out something about Tyler, because as it is, we just stumbled across him in a dungeon, and we're like, yeah, fine, come along. You know what, I'm gonna go over here, and go up. You don't look human. Nope. What 
wonder what charge throw is. I guess I won't find out. Nope, nope, we're looping around again. Pixel artists have to draw as individual toads. Think about that. I think they might have done a, a medium thing where they rendered all these sprites in 3D and then somebody went over them to give them a glossier look. Kind of like, a, you know, Saga Frontier 2 sprites, but more punchy. Because they do have some amazing shading. going to sit and charge at each other. That's fine. Ouch. Turn 23. That's close enough. I'm being super stubborn and inconsistent about this. I'm gonna go up one more time. Let's just go up one more time. We can't go up. Alright, I'll save the game here. After we beat one more group of eyes, because I picked group battle without thinking. This should not be a big deal though. Roll beat. Flame. No. Same guy. Lawnmower. Flame arrow. Go. save menu we go. So I'm going to try and find some sort of useful walkthrough that shows you how to get out. I may have a Saga Frontier 2 Brady guide hanging around somewhere uh, so that we can get out of this damn dungeon the next time we get together. So Friday, instead of all Gustav all the time, it's going to be, let's get Will out of the mist. Um, can't remember if I saved or not, so I will... No, oh, not there. There. So, let's go ahead and do the raid. As always, guys, thank you for coming and hanging out. I really appreciate it. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, hope to see you again sometime soon. And let's go bug on it. Uh, you're most welcome. Like I said, I, I'm i always amazed that people want to come and hang out. So thank you guys for coming by. And here we go. Good night.